Welcome back to another video. For today's video, we're going to have a swatch and review with this product. This is the color at color tint. And if I, I guys, this is not sponsored. Someone gave this to me as a gift from my debut last January. So short story lang. Sobrang proud the ko dito sa mga products na to. Like, dati meron na rin talaga silang products na color tint which is sa gantong packaging. Ito yung old packaging nila. It's in a glass form and ganyan siya. Para siyang cutex, like para siyang nail polish. So sometimes it's really uncomfortable kasi medyo sobrang nakakakiliti siya kapag in mo. And ang naging problem ko dito before is sobrang grabe dawing natatapon. Like, syempre ako, me, sobrang clumsy kong tao and sobrang magalaw ko din. Like when I do my makeup, sobrang kulit ko. Dapat puno pa rin to hanggang ngayon kasi konti pa lang naman yung nagagastos ko sa kanya but since I'm very clumsy at wala siyang stopper kasi when you open it, ganyan na agad siya. Wala siyang stopper so kapag ginanyan mo matutumba talaga siya. So ayun um, hindi talaga siya maganda lalo na for traveling but they hurt us guys. Sobrang tuwang tuwa ako when I knew na naglabas na sila ng new packaging with a stopper and a roller ball. Isa din to sa naging problem ko. Actually, problem ng lahat ng gumagamit ng color tint. Super fan talaga ako ng color yet. Kasi, ever since, sobrang ganda ng mga shades nila. Like, from reds to nudes, ganyan. Naglabas na sila ng contour and highlighter with these color tints. And sobrang ganda nun. Naglabas na rin naman sila ng contour for the new packaging. But, inaantay ko na lang talaga yung highlighter for the new packaging kasi sobrang gusto ko na naka foot applicator yung highlight. To make the story short, yun nga, kaya sila nag-apply ng rollerball dito sa new packaging nila. It's because naging problem ng mga users ng color at color tint is yung kapag shake nila, hindi talaga totally na shake Like this one, eto na-shake ko na to pero may natirang pigment pa dyan. As you can see, kitang-kita pa yung pigment and may mga natitira sa baba. So, eto, hindi na siya magiging problem since Nagkaroon na siya ng rollerball and may stopper na din siya. So, hindi na natin kailangan mag-alala na matatapon siya. And it's very travel friendly and very compact for us to use. And yung rollerball is like yung metal ball dito sa ano. So, ito siya. Pagka, pagka shinake natin, ganyan. Maririn mo sa loob. Sobrang fan na talaga ako ng Colorit ever since. Kasi it's a local brand and sobrang affordable na products nila. And sobrang ganda. As in, sobrang ganda. Maski yung quality, ganyan yung pigmentation, lahat. At meron silang nilagay dito. Ayan. Uh, hey babe, we've taken all our boss babe's requests to heart and finally come out with new and improved color tint packaging. The same called fave formula in its best form ever. Color tint is everything you wanted it to be. Oh, thank you. And this is 299 each. So, from the old packaging, I think the old packaging was 249 and naging 299 siya for the new packaging. I think it's very worth it naman for me kasi mas naging travel friendly siya and naging compact siya and hindi tayo may hirapan like kapag magbe-makeup tayo na mag-worry tayo mag-leak siya kasi hindi na siya ganon. Kasi may stopper na siya and masyashake na talaga natin siya real good. So, anatomy of color tint. So, ito siya guys. I don't know if you can see. Ayan, may steel, stainless steel ball. Dyan. May doe foot applicator na siya. Hindi katulad nung sa dito. Parang nail polish applicator which is better than that. May wiper din siya so hindi na tayo mag-aalala kapag sobrang dami. Kasi when we use it like sa lips natin or sa cheeks sa pag sobrang dami, hindi natin nawa-wipe masyado dito sa old packaging. Meron akong 5 shades dito. So, the, uh, the first one is Tati. Wait, I don't know if you can see. First one is Tati. Wait, di ko na mapapakita yung shade. Olive, Ellie, Ocean, and Asmi. So, I will do a swatches starting from the ombre lips and the full lip. Mag-ready na din ako guys ng concealer para mas makita nyo yung totoong pigment niya. Kasi, I know na kapag color tint, nag-leave talaga siya ng stain. I'm going to put on some concealer para kita nyo yung pigment. 
yan, halo ko lang siya. Let's start with ocean. ocean kasi nude na nude siya. Like, sobrang nude. And this is what I want sa mga mm, shades ng ng lipsticks ko. Kasi sobrang ganda niya. And orangey siya. So, hindi siya literally orangey. Like, brownish nude. It's like brownish nude. So, maganda talaga siya. Feeling ko, if we don't use her, parang hindi makikita yung true color niya. Kasi, nag-iiwan siya ng stain, guys. Tati is like, a bright orange. Makikita mo talaga na orangey siya, pero hindi totally orangey. Like, may tone of red pa rin naman siya and brown. So, ayan, kapag nilagay mo na siya sa full lips, mas notice mo na super orangey talaga siya. Nag-iiwan talaga siya. Sobrang pigmented. Ah, mukha akong... Mukha akong nakipaghalikan sa hotdog. Oh my god. Ano ba ito? Ang sobrang pigmented niya guys. Like sobra. Maski yung... Yung outer parts ng lips ko ay nalagyan na din. So olive is like parang ano... A brownish red shade. <music> So, olive is like parang a fierce version of ocean. Since ocean is parang mas nude-ish siya, ito medyo mas more onto the brownish side na siya. So, yeah, sobrang ganda nito, lalo na when you're looking for that fierce look. Parang when you want to be masungit, ganon. But yeah, it's really nice. <music> Parang dumudugo yung labi ko. <laughs> mm, ayun o, naging need talaga siya ng stain. Which is, I think, nice. I think this shade is the perfect ombre lips na ma-achieve ko siya kapag ito yung ginamit kong shade. To be honest, ito talaga yung lagi kong ginagamit na shade when I'm doing ombre kasi Wala, maganda lang siya and ang cute niya. Yan, I think this is the nicest shade na I think I will wear. Since hindi talaga ako mahilig sa mga super, super duper red. Hindi ko alam kung nag-gets nyo ba yung red na tinutukoy ko but sana gets nyo. Yun yung pang pink undertone na red. Yun yung bagay sa kanila but ako yellow undertone na Ellie. This is Esme. This is Ocean. This is Olive. And this is Tati. So for me, sobrang ganda pa din ng formulation niya. As in, and from the longevity, the pigmentation, sobrang ganda niya. And I think sobrang worth it siya bilhin for its price. It's 299 compare mo sa ibang lipsticks from other high-end brands, you know na like for 1,000 a lipstick ganyan, I think this is very worth it na guys, since it's moisturizing kasi it's oil-based this is oil-based guys, and it turns into matte if problema nyo yung yung medyo oily siya, and mamadali kayo, pwede nyo naman siyang itap with tissue, sobra nilang daming wide range ng shades as in sobra it really caters from fair to medium to deep skin tones as in sobrang ina-embrace nila lahat ng skin tones ng Filipina and sobrang ganda nun kasi for a local product it really considered all the skin tones of every Filipina so yun sobrang ganda lang talaga as in Sobrang makadalag ang Filipina talaga dito. Hindi siya overwhelming, hindi siya uncomfortable sa lips na ito. Na nararamdaman ko na meron akong suot but it's not heavy, it's not sticky at all kasi sobrang matte niya. 
as you can see, hindi siya nagsistick sa, sa dalawang lips ko. So, ayun, sobrang ganda lang. And I don't have a problem with the new packaging because it's compact and it's very travel-friendly. I don't really have a problem with any of this one. It's the best for me. Like, from the old packaging, mas pinabetter lang nila or pinabest lang nila yung packaging from from the old packaging to here as in I love the doe foot applicator it really parang ayan nakashape talaga siya to mimic the lips of the person na mag-aayos kasi like pag ganun siya so kapag in-apply mo siya like nakabend na siya so hindi siya katulad nung ibang doe foot applicator na sobrang straight and ikaw mismo mag-shape sa lips mo eto sobrang dali lang mag-shape siguro ang only problem ko lang dito is uh, I think they should put the shelf life pero I think everyone knows naman the shelf life ng cosmetics is 1 to 2 years so depende na lang yan and you should do your research na lang I think for me it is the best pigmentation wise longevity wise sobrang ganda niya as in as you can see naman and sobrang blendable niya katulad sa old packaging pwede siyang ilagay sa lips sa cheeks uh, like sa old packaging, pwede nyo siyang ilagay in three ways. Multi-purpose tint to, so hindi lang siya for lips. You can also put it sa cheeks mo, you can also put it sa lids mo. Ang suggestion ko lang for you guys is na wag masyadong madami, like lalo na when you're putting sa cheeks, isang dot lang okay, na sobrang kapal na nga nun. Dapat tignan nyo maigi, baka kasi kumalat lalo yung makeup nyo. A few moments later. So I'm wearing Ellie right now. So itest na lang natin kung gano'n siya katagal. Subukan muna natin dito sa Dutch Mill. So, tingnan natin kung magta-transfer ba siya. So, as you can see dito, wait lang. Hindi siya, walang magta-transfer sa straw. So, tingnan natin kung may mawawala ba kapag kumain ako ng chicken. <tinyo> transfer talaga siya. So, tignan natin siya ngayon. Ayan, may konting pagta-transfer pero hindi lahat kasi may, din, may natira pa din sa lips ko. Ayan. Pero naging light na siya. Obvious na sa suot ko kanina. Hindi siya ganun ka ano. Tignan natin siya pa. Ayan, may nagta-transfer talaga pero hindi lahat. May natitirang parang pigment. So I'm done with my swatches and review. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below on what kind of videos you want to see next. See you on my next one. Bye!